some of these doctors are psychopaths, narcissists with science. Will I even say they have science knowledge? Well, let's just say they have knowledge in science. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video i guess so um yesterday i received a call oh my name is julieta by the way and uh, this is probably the first time i'm doing anything like this before and this video has no it has no direction i just i just feel so bad and so hot that people are so insensitive to death especially in this part of the world like someone just died and all you have to say is just mean stuff like how did we get here how did we get to this position how the fuck did we get here anyway if you don't know what i'm talking about you don't understand the title of this video well let me just start let me calm down and then start I received a phone call yesterday morning around 9 10 in the morning from my friend Benita so she called me and she told me that something terrible happened I'm like what are you talking about she said Christabel died no she said something happened to Christabel in my head I'm thinking oh maybe she was into an accident or maybe she was sick or something I never thought that this girl was dead so and then she now told me that she died I was like what are you talking about died died like I don't understand why would she die and did she have an accident she said no that she died out of that she had complication in surgery I was like in surgery what happened to her like what kind of surgery she said liposuction like it took me a minute to be like what liposuction christabel is the body type that people pay money to achieve like she is already i knew her from uh since 2018 since i met her she has always been curvy she has always been a curvy girl she's very beautiful tiny waist big bum bum hips um Pecky breast, you know, she like I didn't understand why she went into surgery. But that aside, people has been have been doing surgery. People will continuously do surgery. As I'm talking to you right now, there are people who are undergoing the same liposuction surgery. There there are people booked for tomorrow. There's going to be people doing it every day. It's not it's a trend that is not going to die soon. Maybe in the future, but now people are not going to stop doing surgery, you know. So it's not a new thing. That she died in after that does it, it doesn't make sense. Like people have been doing this. What happened to her? What really happened to her? Are you sure that that's what happened to her? Are you sure? Like what exactly happened? And then she starts telling me the story that after the surgery she she started bleeding and. Uh, she told the doctor that she's bleeding and they told her don't worry everything that is normal for her to bleed and through that she died how can you tell someone that just came out of surgery that it's okay for them to bleed now i i i believe that she just she died out of pure neglection neglection most of the people that do this surgery doesn't really care about this the 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 the, 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 the patient most of them are in there for the money and most of them are judgy like every other person on social media judging her that she went to do why would she go and do a uh, liposuction why did she do liposuction her body is this her body is that people are trolling my friend the one that called me on instagram like sending her really really mean messages i saw what they are sent to her on her dm this morning i'm like people are really mean like people are really mean on social media and people are just so insensitive like this is a life we're talking about a young girl like this girl just turned 30 she just turned 30 last year or early this year that was her birthday she doesn't have a child she doesn't have a husband like 
she just died yes is it like it might not it might not you might not agree with the with the trend to get your body done and all of that but someone should not die because of that someone should not lose their life because they want to enhance their 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 their, their appearance that is not that is not enough for you to judge the person that the person is supposed to die for it like the way people sound is like she paid for her death like it is what she deserved she was not hurting anybody she's just doing something to make herself happy why does she deserve to die for it like why are people saying what they're saying like she deserves to die because she went to do liposuction didn't take care of her and when she passed away the doctors didn't even contact her nest of kin in the document she probably signed before the the surgery to let them know that look at what happened to your child or look at what happened to your friend or your sister she has passed away due to complication of the of the of, from the surgery come and take care of her body they shipped her body to the morgue to the mortuary without any family member present nobody saw her and saw how she looked like before they took her to the mortuary do you guys understand how fucked up that is and they didn't say anything to the uh, uh, one of the 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 the, 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 the their friend groups Steph, stephanie went to this to the hospital and was asking them my friend was here for surgery she has supposed she's supposed to be back home by now what happened and then they told her to they gave her a paper and told her that your friend has been transferred to so 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 much like do you see what i mean by people don't care this is a full grown woman that just died and this is how you people are treating the case like she's nothing she's like a bag of potato you deposited her in a in a in a morgue you guys should go there and see her. like what what in the living fucking hell is that she does not deserve to die like that and she does not deserve to be treated the way she's being treated because she did liposuction no yes she has a fine body but everybody has insecurity that they probably want to get rid of and some people have the finance to do that some people have the courage to do, to do that some people don't but that does not mean that you deserve to die she is soft-spoken she is very sweet human being we didn't hang out more like we didn't we don't hang out because she lives in lagos state i live in abuja but we do talk once in a while and the very few times that I've been close to her, she's a sweet person. She does not de she does not deserve to be dragged the way she's been dragged online for doing surgery. It's not a sin. It's not a crime. Everybody is leaving the stupid quack doctors that killed her and now backlashing her. No. She trusted this man. She trusted them with her life and they told her that they're going to take care of her. But they didn't. She did not die from the surgery. Itself. She died because they neglected her when she was in recovery. Which is what I'm saying. Before you get any of this done, like me, sir, I mean this country, I will not advise anybody that I know to pay any man in this country to do surgery because most of them are in it for the money they don't care about your life they don't care about the aftermath of the surgery they don't care they only care about you coming and paying them that ten thousand dollar or four million naira or five million, whatever they ask for. that's that's what they care funny enough after the surgery you might you might you might be surprised they sit down one place and then they are judging every single girl that walked in there for surgery and these are the people that you want to go and trust your life to this is just pure negligent she just died out of pure negligence because i believe that whatever happened to her whatever that led to her bleeding is something that would have been avoidable but they did not 
care, genuinely care for that girl. All they care is about the money she, she brought to them in this country. You all should be very careful about who you go and pay money to do these surgeries to you because most of them no do any, they, they didn't study it. They went to do apprentice. Do you understand? Most of them went to do apprentice to learn how to do liposuction. They did not, they, most of them don't even understand the science behind it. They did apprenticeship and then they now opened their own small clinic and then they are doing their own. Most of the nurses and the, and the, and the, and the uh, doctors there are not qualified. Well, because they bring, do you, you guys need to understand the story behind all these stupid, stupid clinics. Have you not seen someone on Instagram posting and promoting for, for people to come and learn how to do liposuction? Pay a million naira to learn how to do liposuction. These are things that people go to universities for years to study. Now one yeah, yeah, human being go just come out for Instagram post say, oh yeah, come on. We are doing promo. If you want to learn how to do body scrubbing, come and learn 500,000, 1 million naira. And people are going to learn. And these are people that has no knowledge about science. They don't even understand the definition of chemistry, biology. These are the people that you trust your body to operate on. You all should be careful. They say what is worth doing is worth doing well. If you want to do it, go to where they are doing it well. Where there have been results, where there have been years of experience. No be person where they tell you, say, in get a clinic for UK, in get a clinic for Hong Kong. You don't see anyone, no. You did not see any of this clinic. Now just mouth. You go carry your precious God-given body and trust that idiot to do some to do some rubbish work. And if you don't have anything good to say about the death, keep your mouth shut. Nobody by force say go comment for Instagram. Nobody by force say go comment for YouTube video. You can keep moving. There's millions of videos for you to watch on, 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 on the media. You must not stop and say something mean. She's dead. There's nothing you can say that will change that. And she was not a bad person. She was not a bad person. There has never been any news about her that she did something that hurt people. No. She's a sweet. She was. Was. This is so fucking sad. Just remember this out of the, everything I said in this video that she died out of negligence. And it has been happening. And it's high time people need to start speaking up. When you notice that something is not right, you're supposed to be treated a certain way in any place. Speak up. Speak up. Someone probably has had the same experience, but maybe the case didn't lead to death. The person survived. Before you go to do all this, all this, all this surgery, do your research. Talk to people one on one. People don't like to open up. That's the funny thing. People will not tell you how exactly thing shit went down. But talk to the person one on one. Let them give you a full detail so you know what you are dealing with. You will know exactly what you are trying to get yourself into. Because shit are happening. Funny things are happening. This is all over the media because the, the, uh, her set of friends in Lagos took it out there. People are dying every day and people don't know. Imagine, just imagine that she did not tell anybody that she, she was going to do liposuction, that she was going to the hospital, that she was going anywhere. This is how they would announce her missing. And the hospital or the clinic will not say a single word about it. You get what I'm saying? This would happen and let's say she didn't tell anyone. This is it. Nobody will hear about her. 
the next story will be like probably she went somewhere they kidnapped her or they used her for this or she did nobody will know what happened to her and believe me it's happening it's happening because some people go through this surgery with their lips sealed like this nobody will ever know what they're going what what what, what they're going to do until the, the the deed has been done some of these doctors are psychopaths narcissists with science will i even say they have science knowledge well let's just say they have knowledge in science they don't care about you they don't have passion for human talk more of a girl that says she wants to enhance her body be careful all of us should learn from this all of us should learn from this whatever is worth doing is worth doing well if you want to do this go to the best and do it and come back if not be content be content in 20 years from now i don't think liposuction will be a thing i don't think it will matter and apart from social media people don't really care like i don't understand how i don't even understand the type of people you guys hang around with i for one does not care about whether you have figure eight or not i don't hang around people that give a shit about these things don't let social media to put you under unnecessary pressure you were comfortable about your body 219 218 a couple of years back what is wrong with it now you are the same person what happened to it now social media will soon one day disappear maybe maybe not i don't know. and the people most of them do this for is for stupid men that will still treat you like shit hmm? most of these young ladies in lagos they do this for men that will still treat them like 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 they, like they are nothing why do we need to go through this pain because of a vagabond called a man you don't see men injecting in their penises for you can we all just take it down a notch now can we can we rest can we take care of our body and soul and be content? Anybody that doesn't love you the way you are is a superficial somebody. Even when you do the surgery, the person will not love you fully. And if you think you are doing it for yourself, ask yourself why? What exactly is wrong with me that I think I need fixing? Because sometimes we see fault in ourselves that other people don't even see. We need to be careful. If you decide to do it, do it well. If not, rest. Rest. You are beautiful. I am beautiful. All of us, we're fine. We're fine for somebody. I. If they see that person, they do. But we are fine for another person. And the person takes say, you know, fine. You, you, you look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm fine. At the end of the day, we are going to die. I live like... This is it's just, it's just, it's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's unbelievable that she's dead. Like, it's, it's, it's like, after I saw it on the news today, and I, that's when I, like, it hit me, like, this is, I'm looking at her, I'm like, this is, this is really Krista Bell. Like, this is really her. Be careful out there. Love one another. Love yourself even more.